So for today, we're going to be looking at week 14, which is wild to say. I did not know we would have this many weeks considering we usually only have like 70 challenges, which is about 10 weeks if I remember correctly. So I guess they added more just to give us more experience. Either way, it's pretty cool, I guess. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, core variables two, complete act three, part two of a rising chorus. Not hard, question mark. The only thing that's annoying is you do have to do the exotic quest again. So some people might not like that. Research and development part seven, complete the research quest for specimen uh, Ness 008, which I haven't even done this. I usually don't like doing these. Uh, aggressive exploration five no six complete the episode echoes exotic mission encore weekly challenge i do not know what the challenge is we will be looking at the challenge later soloists use the choir of one obtained from exotic mission encore to defeat targets bonus progress is gained in the episode echoes exotic mission encore so once you get encore just use encore in the actual exotic mission which i guess sure on Europa, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public, event, public events, and lost sector. Not hard. These are usually just very tedious. Last rights. Get ability, final blows, and crucible, gambit, or vanguard. Bonus progress is granted for guardian final blows. I will most likely complete this in vanguard. So that way I can get some of the new armor or the armor that we got this uh, this expansion. Because uh, that armor is the best. Which the the playlist armor will be going up tomorrow because this sh should be going up on wednesday so thursday will be the review and the shader video so if you are interested to see how the armor looks definitely check out that video echoing performance defeat guardians in crucible or gambit with auto rifles hand hand cannons sidearms sniper rifles or swords earn it earn bonus progress for sword final blows so i would probably use a sword for this well i'm, I'm honestly i would use all of the weapons into one loadout but I would specifically use one sword that is pretty annoying for to go against. Uh, let me just show you real quick so I can, uh, for those who are wondering, uh, Black Talon. Black Talon is probably the one that I would go for just because uh, you can throw a projectile with it, which is really nice. Um, if you don't want to do that, I mean, you could also do World Line Zero. I don't know if it's as good as I used to be, but you can use that if you want. Um, I would stay away from Lament. Um, Heart Shadow, if you have it, is pretty good. And the special is also really good in the sense that... Um, where is it, actually? Uh, we, it's in the special slot. I know I'm not making this up. It's not up here, though. Either way, I would use the that weapon specifically only because uh, it's a special weapon. It's a special sword, so might as well just use it. So that's... That's what I would be using for that. Um, is it final blow? Yeah. So, isn't this the one we just saw? Yeah. Uh, bank kill repeat. Earn points by de banking moats, defeat bl defeating blockers, and defeating guardians in gambit. Uh, you can combine this with this one and this one and this one. So, if you wanted to, and then complete any nightfall strike on advanced difficulty or higher. Bonus progress is granted for completing nightfalls above advanced difficulty. So, I would most likely just do a grandmaster, so that way you can just complete it faster and you're getting more stuff while you're doing that so that's what i would be doing honestly um but let me let me see real quick something so let me so basically complete exotic mission encore on any difficulty you have to do that twice or complete seasonal activities on a higher difficulty i don't okay what okay so yeah, i would probably just do the weekly one where you just have to run it twice as for 801 we're going to be looking at shadow guilt this one is pretty good i definitely would recommend it it's a good shader i will also explain why my hunter looks this way in after we're done with 801 so really good shader definitely would recommend it uh new pacifica rush this is a really good shader from destiny 2 vanilla at least i like it i like the blue that being said this is not a good shader or this is not a good armor combination for that so i would definitely go into it and switch some things around and then new monarchy regalia which again vanilla destiny 2 specifically from factions which is also rare so definitely pick it up because it is a really good shader if it ever comes up honestly because it's, yeah you know new monarchy regalia like i said this is a dope shader this is one of my favorite shaders just because the red and gold is so iconic it's literally the iron man colors and i genuinely do like this color combo so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from the shaders as for the armor set it's going to be the destiny one vanilla armor so i have a few gripes with this armor specifically for like the fact that 
I would have switched some pieces out for the hunters. Honestly, the hunters, um, the arms and the boots, I would probably have switched out for something else. The helmet is super dope. The chest piece is iconic in my eyes. This is my favorite chest piece in the game ever. And the cloak looks really weird compared to the old like D1 set. I don't know what it is. It's like, it feels weird. Um, not saying it's bad. I This used to be one of my favorite cloaks back in D1, but it just, it's different. I don't know what it is, but let me know what you guys think. But yeah, hunters definitely pick up the helmet and the chest piece minimum, but I would honestly just tell you pick all of it up because you might never know when one piece looks really, really cool. Uh, Titans, I don't really like a lot of it just because a lot of it does look way too thin. That being said, the helmet is super dope. The chest piece is super dope and the boots and the arms are still usable in my opinion. The mark is the only thing where I'm just like, yeah, it's kind of on the boring side, honestly. And then Warlock's um, helmet is super dope. The chest piece is super dope. Even the boots and arms, I think, are usable. The bond is boring, but at the same time, you can definitely use it as well. So I definitely think there's some pieces you should pick up. And I would recommend you guys to pick up some of these, if not all of them. Just because, again, it's one of those things that, like, <clears throat> once you start pick, um, building up your collections, some of these sets are just going to be like, oh, I didn't know this was going to look good with this. But it's kind of like once you start experimenting, that's when you see the the very positive thing of having a big collection because then you can start really mix and matching stuff so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from eight to one and then for the fit for the video it's uh so i'm going to be making a video uh because this ornament is being sold by eververse this week which is super dope it's one of my favorite ornaments because tactical i'm a nerd for tactical which means i'm going to be making a tactical set for all the classes this is the hunters um i think it looks pretty cool uh it's gonna be black so i'm just gonna tell you guys right off the bat if you're not into like a whole black look then just be aware that a lot of it is gonna be black i'm, I'm probably even gonna switch out the abyssinian gold one for something else maybe maybe the super black just because i'm not the biggest fan of the brown right here but it's like too too dark which is why i'm not pro i'm probably not gonna do it but <clears throat> yeah different shaders um we're going to be using the Cryptocrine's uh, facade with the Europan Scout Visor just because, again, we're going for a tactical look. Oiled Gun Metal for this one. For the Diamond Sporn Grips and the Deep Explorer Vest, we're going to be using the Erebos Glance. For the Boots, Abyssinian Gold with the Diamond Sporn Strides just because uh, other ones do not look good. And I'm trying to not have this orange right here. I might just switch out the boots outright for something else. Maybe we'll see. Because something like this actually doesn't seem that bad. Actually, I might have switched it out right now. And then maybe... Yeah, no. No. We might do that. We'll see. Um, I'll, ha I'll leave it up like this for now. But And then for the cloak, Psionic Stalker Cloak with the Mad Monk. So I actually like this combo. Um, There's other pieces that I was thinking about using. Like this one specifically. With actually... No. It's too... It's not dark enough, I guess you would say. Yeah, like there's, this is like my thought process when I start making stuff like this. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I definitely am still like th like throwing some things here and there just because, again, I'm going for a tactical look, but I want to avoid color because obviously I'm going for a black tactical because I'm trying to match the Kvostov. So, yeah, this, that's the fit for the video. Let me know what you guys think. The Hunter or the Titan and Warlock ones I've already, I'm already done with as well. So I'm really excited for those. But for eververse like i said um oh shit that's right i'll make it okay so carbon blood definitely a shader you should pick up it's a really good red very very good red in my opinion but it is off color unfortunately or some off i don't know it's really weird because sometimes it's off color sometimes it's not specifically with these arms that's an off color spot but for the chest piece i don't think that's an off color so that's why i say it depends um byzantine lotus Hourglass, no, we're not looking at that. Uh, Omega Mechano Strides. So this is, unfortunately, this blue does not change color, which is super stupid. I don't, whoever designed this, bro, like, who are you? Why are you like this? Um, Let's go to the other classes so that way you guys are aware of what the other things are, because I do like the boots for the other classes, specifically the Titans, I think, have the coolest one. Ooh, but yeah, here is the Titans. I genuinely do like it. Just be aware that obviously this is going to shade her differently than everything else. And it's asymmetrical, which some people might hate. I am one of those people. So yeah, annoying. 
then warlocks it's not good eh, it's cool i guess but i really wish both of these were on each side because like the example set that i made with this was really annoying because i had to basically cater towards the fact that only one side has an armor piece so titans hunters warlocks let me know what you think about your piece again i always recommend you guys to pick these up because we are currently making individual sets for each piece that comes out so this week is going to be the boots next week is most likely going to be the chest piece because i think the helmet and the and the class item are usually the last ones so i definitely would recommend getting these because again they are really cool uh stargazer for the emo <clears throat> And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have the Lost and Found, or the Lost Found. I love this ornament. It's super cool. I haven't used it in the game yet, but I know I'm going to love it just because tactical. I'm a huge bitch for tactical stuff. Uh, Jovian uh, 11, I think that would be, right? 10? No, 9. No, I don't know. Um, it's the Zersh. It's the Zersh ship. It's pretty cool, I guess. Um, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think those change color, though. Yeah, the green tentacles don't change color, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, Synchrotron Shell. Hmm. We have Roaring Primeval. Yeah, this, this uh, shade is pretty terribly. Uh, standout pose this is a Jojo's reference so if you like Jojo's and the anime Jojo's yeah this is gonna be super dope uh, sophisticated spy <coughs> <coughs> then we have renewal entrance I, I don't even have this uh, sterile neutrino this is not bad actually hive arrival and then for the shaders, copper brand, carbon blood again, first light, and smashing success. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from all the stuff we looked at today. I am going to be honest, I'm not really that fond of playing Destiny 2 right now. I mean, I've once I do the weekly stuff, I kind of lose interest because, again, there's really not much for me to do in the game aside from like maybe collect some of the last red border weapons that I haven't gotten yet which is actually probably what I'm gonna do actually we'll see I don't know yeah no I don't know we'll see <clears throat> I'm currently let me see I have a bunch of stuff that I'm working on this so today Wednesday no today's Tuesday which means a sublime warlock set just came out and the Titan exotic one just came out so tomorrow the sublime shorts will come out uh, the Sublime Warlock shorts will come out. The first or the helmet for the exotic for the Warlocks will come out. And then this video should be the last one to come out as well. Or the first. We'll see. Um, and then the playlist armor on Thursday plus the shaders and the last Warlock exotic. And then from there, the class specific videos for the playlist armor. <clears throat> Friday, we should have the Omega Mechanos boots or yeah, the boot piece come out and then from there uh week 15 will be the last video that i have planned because after that i'm pretty much caught up we'll probably start posting some of the exotics that um people have asked for or i probably just start doing the exotics again and then after that honestly i don't know i'm probably oh actually we'll probably start posting some of the some content from from other games specifically fashion and stuff and then from there, I want to see where we can go from there, because as much as I love fashion, like I said in a previous video, I kind of want to cover other things because um, I'm more than just fashion. I play a lot of stuff, so we'll see if I either start to slow down with Destiny 2, maybe instead of every day, which is kind of what I'm making content right now, every other day, maybe make content. I think that would be the better choice just because it will give me some time to play some other stuff while not feeling guilty that this channel is not making as much content so i don't know we'll see i'm still in the experimental phase but i'm trying to make content for this channel so that way the channel does well and also other things like i'm trying to oh i still want to talk about like the season pass for act three and just in general like all the the levels after level 100 i want to talk about that I want to talk about some exotics that need a rework and then do fashion for them so that way people can get interested and start talking about some of the exotics they would like to see reworked um the fact that destiny 2 is going to get less support which makes no fucking sense and then um some 
some MMO qualities that I think Des Destiny 2 desperately needs. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.